Hello everybody. Today we are going to discuss about a new topic that is called EDI. So you know many uh, of the industry, all the industries nowadays using EDI and this session definitely help a beginner of EDI who really wants to understand what is the EDI, what are the industry using EDI what are the protocols used by industry EDA and some more information as well let's start with EDI details what is the what is EDA so EDA stands for electronic data interchange it's a standardized data format by which business documents can exchange electronically between trading partners so now you can ask what is standardized data format the standardized data format is it's nothing but the data should compliance with certain predefined structure there should not be any deviation in the structure what does it mean that means already a predefined stru structure is there if anybody would like to use that one it should follow the standard you cannot go beyond that if you go you will deviate from that then definitely system will say this is not a standard data system will raise you know um, you will get the error there so next what is business document the document it's a document or file you can say file which contains business related data then you can ask what is the business related data so let's take a example you have a company you want to buy bulk of uh, laptops from a seller so how you are going to proceed you cannot go by person and you can take uh, thousands of laptops and uh, uh, get into your office there should be a proper process because you have to maintain the data as well to maintain the data and you are a industry you're the part of industry so you have to maintain all the things as per the industry standard so what you will do you will send a purchase order request hey seller can you uh, give me you know thousands uh, of thousand uh, uh, laptops in this cost and can you ship to this uh, location so seller will get agree okay fine I'll send um, this much of a laptop with this uh, cost so how your system will understand so for that what I will do you will uh, you know go th uh, you will adapt a you know uh, like uh, you'll say okay I have a system I'll send the data with certain standardized data with the EDA format okay fine that is a business record the f data purchase order you will send or invoice you will receive or shipment you will receive those are the business related data so what is the trading partners so as I said that you are a buyer and there is a seller when these are the trading patterns partners is nothing but two parties and they agree to exchange their business information so you and your seller agreed that okay fine we'll s exchange our business details through EDI so now you and your seller are trading partners let's discuss EDA standards used in industry so uh, what are the standards are there in the industry or in the world what are the standards we are using basically you know there are many st standards are there US standard you can find ANSI in ANSI X12 ANSI X12 is a US standard it's a st three digits transaction code it's it starts from 100 to triple line around 900 uh, transactions and many industries are using that one next you can find a defect EDI for administration commerce and transport it's a UN standard it's a six characters code so you will find orders for purchase order invoice for for invoice you'll find invoice like that and there you for European automotive industry there will be ODT there are trad comes and income there are multiple many standards are there in in the uh, world 
and uh, it's uh, used for different different industry as well let's discuss what is what are the advantages of EDI first is error free data exchange yes it's error free data exchange as the structure has predefined you cannot go beyond that you have to follow the structure so definitely you will get the error free data and if you will not follow then there will be error so less human intervention so in the structure nobody can use their own uh, you know, data as per they wish nobody can use the new segment uh, other than the standard format and you, next point is huge volumes of transactions you can send many transaction bulk of transaction within one file more than 90,000 transaction you can send within a EDI file and uh, less operating cost it eliminates the time delays it's very helpful the more important thing is you know uh, it will help to you know not to delay the um, uh, transactions of data and it's very secure and accurate next uses of EDI in industry uses of EDI in industry what are the industry are using EDI there are multiple industry who are using the EDI like retail healthcare banking and finance logistics supply chain and many more as well so retail you can find the purchase order invoice shipment these are the transactions or EDA, uh, EDA transactions are used in retail in healthcare also you will see uh, you can find patient information enrollment claim 837p 837 uh, uh, d 837i so these are in the healthcare uh, industry are using the transactions then banking in banking finance you can find banking capacity cash management pain payment initiations this tra transactions are based only for banking so like that in logistics and supply chain you will find many transactions let's discuss what are the different communication channels uh, supports by EDI there will be EDI INT then band value added network internet service provider these are the communicate communication channels who supports EDI you can send the EDI transaction over this as well or different type protocols supports the different protocols like uh, HTTP HTTPS SMTP and FTP so these are the protocols uh, used by EDI you can send on um, your transactions um, by using this these protocols while you are sending to your you know uh, trading partners and let's take um, get some examples what are the ANSI actual EDA transactions so it's very common is 850 it's for purchase order when you are sending a purchase order invoice when you are receiving an invoice from customer and uh, 855 55 is purchase order acknowledgement so like that in a fact for orders for purchase order there will be orders as a transaction for invoice uh, invoice and for other like uh, income and outcomes there are multiple transactions are there and industries are using that one hope this session will help you all to get a basic details about the EDI and definitely I'll come with some more information in depth from next session onwards thank you thank you very much